Hi everyone! On this video, I wanted to try some stamping inspired by a video by Tiny Fingers here on YouTube, where she stamps with two holographic polishes from Hollow Taco. I will leave the link on the card and description. I really recommend her channel. I think she has one of the best now channels on YouTube. Uh, in my case, I didn't have two linear hollows, so I'm using this more chunky hollow, which is Manchita Cat, as the base. Uh, it's this very light pink with very spread out hollow on it. It's kind of a chunky polish, so application is a bit more challenging. And you do have to seal it with a nice top coat, especially because we're going to do stamping afterwards, just to get, you know, like a smooth base for the stamping. And I really like this polish. I think it's very delicate with like the pink, but it's still very loud <laughs> because of the holographic. So I think that's a really good combination and it's super hollow. I mean, it's hollow taco who has ever worn something by the brand knows, but it is very shiny in all lights, I would say, uh, especially here on the ring light light. It's very shiny. That was actually something not so great for when we do the stamping, as you guys will see. But as a standalone polish, just gorgeous. We're doing two coats here. I thought that was enough for coverage, especially with the stamping on top. Some people might use three coats. I think that's what's uh, recommended on the Holo Taco website. But for these purposes, I just did two coats and then a very thick uh, top coat on top just to seal it in and more importantly, to smooth out the chunkiness of the hollow. To seal it in, I'm using this top coat, which is a gel effect top coat by Brazilian brand Coloroma. It's not really gel. I hate that brands do this. Uh, you don't need like the little UV light or anything. It's just gel effect. If it comes in a transparent bottle, it means it's not real gel. It's just confusing to name it like that. But it is a really good top coat for these purposes, which is like nice and thick to smooth everything out. And then for the stamping, I'm going to use Dead Petals, which is, again, also by Hollow Taco, and that's a linear hollow. It's kind of like this very uh, dark purple color, and you can see the linear hollow there. And for the stamping plate, I'm using Uber Chic, this uh, Haunted Snow, which kind of like mixes uh, snowflakes with spider webs, so that's kind of cool, the, the motif there. As we'll see, I already have some fingers that are stamped that didn't quite work out. Uh, I think the best one was this one with the middle finger with the spider webs. I think because the spider webs have thick lines, but at the same time, the design has a lot of empty space, so you can distinguish the drawing, the design very well. So I think that helped to make up for the confusion that the hollow underneath generates. Because it's so shiny, it kind of makes it difficult to see the design of the stamping. So this one, I think, was by far the most successful one. I will show it in different lighting as well. Uh, but just to clarify, that was one of the reasons I think it worked. Like the thick lines and the fact that the design is very sparse, has a lot of empty space in it. And I thought even though that Petals is not a stamping polish, it worked pretty well for stamping. I want to try it again in the future. 
I do have some Brazilian brands that have linear hollows, so I think that might work best and might look prettier. So I'll give that a shot. And for my thumb, I tried to find a design that was similar in terms of like the thick lines and the sparse design. This was the closest I could find on that stamping plate, in my opinion. Uh, it didn't work quite as well, but I think it was like the second best of the whole nail stamping there. And as you can see, it's really hard to read the design because of that really sparkly holographic underneath, I guess. For the top coat, I just went straight in. I didn't use like a protective stamping top coat. I would usually do that, but since this is not stamping polish, it dries pretty fast. So since it dries really fast, I can just go in straight with the top coat. And as I mentioned, the pink hollow is so sparkly under these lights that it's really hard to see the designs. You can tell there's something there, but not really pick up on what is being shown. I'm going to show the thumb design, how it looks with the ring light on and with the ring light off, just so you guys can get an idea of the difference it makes to not have that direct light activating the hollow, sort of speak. It really does help. So. Like this is a very close up with the ring light on. And then with the ring light off, you can kind of see the design better. There's also this uh, natural light uh, footage I did the next day. This one, I think you can see things a lot better. Again, especially the middle finger with the spider webs, I think is super cool and easy to see. Yeah, I'll definitely try again with other types of hollows. But I still think it worked out. These are two very gorgeous polishes. It's kind of hard to go wrong. I hope you guys liked my attempt here of hollow on hollow. Hope you liked it and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.